Hey guys! I hope you've been enjoying all the craft tutorials so far. I know I had a lot of fun making those camp themed crafts and I hope you guys did too. I saw some photos of crafts that you made and they look great. Keep up all the great work. Now that today is June 1st, we're going into a new month and we're going to start a new theme for our crafts. This month's theme is going to be Recyclable Materials. That means that many of the main materials that we will be using in our crafts are things that you probably already have around the house and would usually end up in your recycling bin. That's materials like corks, popsicle sticks, cardboard, paper bags, egg cartons, tin cans, toilet paper rolls, paper, and milk or juice cartons. You can start saving these materials now so that you'll have them for the crafts we do over the next month. For this craft, you will need a cork or two, depending on how many bugs you'd like to make, some foam or construction paper, some pipe cleaners, googly eyes, some paint and paint brushes, glue, and a pair of scissors. Start with your cork and some paint, and you're going to paint your cork to look like the body of whatever bug you're going to make. I'm going to make a bumblebee. Then you can put it to dry. Keep in mind that you might have to come back and do a second layer for some of your lighter colors. I'm also going to do a butterfly. Then, using your foam or construction paper, you're going to cut out the wing shapes that you want for your bugs. I like to fold what I'm cutting in half and then cut one side so both sides will be exactly the same. Just make sure you don't cut the edge where they're connected. Then you're going to cut small pieces of your pipe cleaner to make the antennas. You can do straight antennas or you can create a little ball at the end of your antenna to make something that looks more like this. Once the paint on your cork is dry, you can bring it back, as well as the antenna and the wings that you cut. Gently, you're going to push the end of your pipe cleaner antenna into the top of the cork. You're going to want to hold really low and push nice and firmly. If you hold too high, when you push, all that's going to happen is your pipe cleaner bend. So hold right near the bottom as you push it in. Then put some glue on the middle of your wing and glue it on to the back. Now all that's left is to glue on your googly eyes.
Your final product should look something like this. For this craft, you will need some foam, or if you don't have foam, cardboard will also work, one cork for every stamp you would like to make, a pair of scissors, and glue. Using the foam or the cardboard, you're going to cut out the shape that you want your stamp to be. Make sure that it's small enough to fit on the bottom of your cork. Cutting out shapes that are small enough to fit on the bottom of a cork, or even if they're a little bit bigger, still, that's pretty small. So if you're having trouble with that, you can always use pre-cut foam, shapes, letters, numbers, and put those on the bottom of your corks to make stamps as well. Then, glue the shape you cut out to the bottom of the cork. Then, let them dry. Once your stamps have dried, you can use them with paint to make these shapes in your paintings. What you want to do is make sure that the paint is spread out fairly thin, and you're going to dip the stamp in just so the top gets covered and not any of the cork, so just lightly right on top. Again, you want to make sure that the shape gets covered in paint, but not the cork. And then you press it onto your page. We repeat this. To add as many of your stamp shape as you'd like. Your final product should look something like this. For this craft, you will need three corks, a popsicle stick, some foam or paper, two elastics, the kind that comes on broccoli in the grocery store are the perfect size. Scissors. And some glue. Start with your three corks and two elastics. You're going to stand your three corks up all in a line and you're going to stretch your elastic over top of the corks. And then make sure that they're all lined up still. The elastic should just be right along that side. It doesn't need to go down to the middle because you're going to put another one on. So flip it over and then you're going to do the same thing with the other elastic. Then flip the corks back on their side and bring out your popsicle stick. 
you're going to slide your popsicle stick in between two of the corks. You might need to wedge them open a little bit, so stretch on the elastic, slide it in, and let it close up again. You're going to put this to the side for a moment. Then bring back your foam or your paper, and you're going to cut out a triangle. Bring back your corks and popsicle stick. You're going to put glue along the top of one side of your popsicle stick. Then glue your triangle onto that. And then you stand it back up. The best part is because that it's made of cork, your little raft will float. Your final product should look something like this. I hope you enjoyed making this week's crafts. I can't wait to see what different bugs you made and the different shapes of stamps you created. If you made one of the crafts shown in our tutorials, Send us a picture at our email, misquacrafts at gmail.com, and we can feature it in one of our videos.